Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the biggest stories making headlines in the country. And my name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting from Bobby Wine's camp, another Bobby Wine supporter called Abba Semakula, who was abducted almost a month ago by armed men in a drone, was over the weekend dumped in industrial area. According to Bobby Wine, Semakula was subjected to torture at a yet-to-be-known military facility. Semakula says he was questioned who finances NUP, why do border borders follow Bobby Wine for activities, and how much he's paid to support Bobby Wine. Now, it should be remembered that recently at a press conference in Kamocha, His Excellency Bobby Wine told off whoever is abducting his supporters in President Museveni's government to instead go for him if he has any cases to answer rather than arresting his innocent supporters. <laughs> Now, police in Biji district have finally arrested a school staff member who recorded a video instructing the learners to redo a sexual act they had earlier been found doing. The arrested person has been identified as Juliet Nantongo, who also happens to be one of the administrators of the school and the wife to the school director. Now, according to reports, police first arrested the school director, who later led them to where the wife was hiding. We are yet to know the charges that will be put on this woman and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Honorable Nobat Mao, has been telling the country that his cooperation with President Museveni involves discussions about a peaceful transfer of power as a key issue to focus on. However, in an exclusive interview on NBS TV yesterday, President Museveni revealed that their cooperation doesn't include the issue of political transition. President Museveni explained that his cooperation with Nobat Mao is only focused on getting members of the opposition into government so that they can all work together for the good of the country. Yeah, because he's purporting to play lead of sort on transition. That is his uh, approach, but, uh, but... It's not something you have discussed with him or, or that no, was part of your deal? No, no. But we have, we have d d discussed uh, broadening unity, uniting the many in order to isolate the enemy to the maximum. Mm. So that's our doctrine, uh, our doctrine, to, to, to unite as many as possible so that the, the ones who are not with us are fewer as few as possible so you're expanding and getting a position on board yes well there you go i think we now know horrible nobat mao's responsibility in president museveni's government he will be fishing from the opposition to nrm but not discussing a political transition as he claims <music> Well, in the same interview, President Museveni was also questioned about his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's presidential bid. And he said, Uganda belongs to Ugandans. When the time comes, they will decide whether to vote him in office or not. First of all, Ugandan leaders are not elected by Twitter. That is true. They are elected by the people. So, if anybody has got uh, interest in leadership, when the time comes, there will be audit 
they will be audited. You will be audited. The Uganda belongs to the people of Uganda. They don't belong to, the, this, to this person, that person. The people of Uganda, they are, they are here abundantly. So these fellows will decide what they want. I, I, I go with what the National Resistance Movement decides. I, I don't decide on behalf, on behalf of, I decide with the NRM. Well, Kakwenza Rukirabashaija has revealed that any time from now he's releasing a book about Jenom Hozi Kanerugaba, President Museveni's son, narrating what happened to him last year when his house was broken into by military, taken and tortured, and how he fled the country to Germany without a passport. This is a story we have never had details about, so yeah, we can't wait to know what really happened. <music> Now, Amnesty International has asked President Museveni to scrap the new controversial Computer Misuse Act, which they say critically restricts the right to freedom of expression online and will be used against those who oppose the NRM government if it is implemented as it is. Now, Muleya Mwananyanda, Amnesty International's director for East and Southern Africa, says this piece of legislation threatens the right to freedom of expression online, including the right to receive and impart information. Now, Amnesty International is a global movement of more than 10 million people in over 150 countries who campaign to end abuses of human rights. Meanwhile, 13 people have petitioned the Constitutional Court challenging the recently amended Computer Misuse Act. Well, finally, a section of leaders in Nasana have given President Museveni's government a one-week ultimatum to account for the ongoing spate of abductions and illegal detentions. During a press conference yesterday, the leaders tasked government to put an end the abductions going on in the country, otherwise the people of Uganda will rise up and fight for their rights. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.